hi it's sunday evening and uh, i'm getting ready for a new week ahead so what i did i wouldn't call it meal prep pin because that would be pushing it but i had a butternut squash so i roasted it just put put it for 45 minutes in the oven so i did that i'm gonna to put it in the in the fridge similarly i made something called bisara which is just a split fava bean soup and that's again something where you just put it and you let it cook for i think an hour or so until it just becomes buttery so i'm just going to scoop that and put it also in pots and then same thing i made a tagine uh, of oxtail which actually also took a good two three hours to cook I ate half of it and then I'm going to put the rest. Uh, so that's my meal prep for tomorrow. I think I am getting ready for work. There is some drilling outside, which is driving me nuts. But I'm trying to go through my same morning routine as usual. I'm going to um, um, organize my little uh, sofa so that it looks okay. I'm making my little cafe in the cafeteria. I'm having my half bagel with avocado. And today I'm wearing this blue liner that I bought from NYX. So a few days ago I was walking in, um, in the King's Road and I saw this very, very old lady who had... Let me close the window, maybe it will help. I saw this very old lady who had the most uh, uh, vibrant blue eyeliner and Two minutes later I walked into Boots and I decided to buy it. So this is just the next epic wear. I remember when I was in Belgium I had bought this. I never got a chance to wear it. It had a different packaging or maybe it's a different one. But this time I took this, I wore it twice last week and I got tons of compliments. So this is definitely going to be my eye look for November. I just wear the blue thing and then at the bottom if I have time I just tight line with the Avon uh, the mini Avon pen that I, that I was wearing all the time in, in October. But yeah, there's too much drilling. So I'm just gonna go make my breakfast very quickly. And then write my to-do list. Um, my perfume for November is going to still be this thing. Because uh, I said I want to finish it. What else did I want to show you? That's, that's, that's the fact. Oh yeah. And I started using this thing from Bobbi Brown. What is this called? extra lip tint it's not tinted honestly this one is transparent but i just use it for some luster i have a mess here Ooh. but yeah oh i bought something from our floor and i'll show you later but yeah i'm just going to get ready for my morning i finally found the thing that i used to to import my media to my computer which means that I can find that I finally was able to edit videos. That's just an indicator of how messy my house was. But yeah, I'll wait for the drilling to finish. I'll have my breakfast. I'll put my little light lamp and uh, I'll talk to you in a few hours.
now close to 11 a.m. and so I'm doing my first break. I had quite a few meetings. I had three meetings so far. So I'm just going to take a quick 10 minute break. I had ordered this thing because my um, uh, physiotherapist had asked me to do so, but she did last week. And uh, because I had an Amazon gift card, I had ordered it, it did not arrive. So I contacted them and then they sent me a replacement urgently. So now this is the replacement um, of what I needed. It's a heated thing that I'm gonna have to put around the areas that are most, uh, where I have my injuries. I am supposed to first do a, a, a myofascial release. So I usually do, uh, uh, I have to do a certain uh, number of exercises using uh, uh, these very hard balls. Then I have, then I have to heat the area uh, of the joints and the muscles, the affected joints and muscles with this thing before I do the stretching. Unfortunately, I did not have this before, so I was still doing the stretches cold. I mean, I tried to have a bit of heating, but um, yeah, you, 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 you do what you, what, what you gotta do. It's the same brand as my sad lamp. Remember, I have my little lamp. It's still the same Berger brand, it's a German one. So I will start using that later. I also have just received now this little uh, hamper. Uh, this, is, um, this is something I have. I have, uh, I have ordered a hamper for all my team members uh, as a thank you because obviously this is a very, very intense project that we have, and um, and I know everybody's working very hard, and I decided that we will continue phase two. So it was just a, a thank you for my team for for being in phase two with me. I got also one for myself. And it's from a brand called Wittard. I started, I know about this brand from um, one of my team members who actually loves their tea. But this is, I just got a basic hamper. I, I chose a hamper for every one of my team members based on what I know of them. But the one for me has this tea. It's, stem ginger and lemon biscuits has hot cocoa i picked 70 percent i also picked this 70 percent for a team member who does not eat a lot of sugar and then i have another team member whose whole hamper is actually just chocolate i got her like a, a a few boxes of this and i also got her those chocolates that you melt in in a in a thing in like a mug and this is marrakesh mint uh, I also got this one to uh, one of my team members because uh, it's like meant to be inspired by Morocco. It has a little cute strainer in here. Aww. And uh, a coffee. I'm not a very big user of coffee, but uh, I only have it in the morning. So, um, yeah, recommended brewing. I, I do it stovetop, but uh, it's, I'll just add it to my coffee right now. And then I'll have to recycle all of that paper stuff. Uh, let me put this. Whoopsie. And then the other thing I bought was uh, a little thing from Ralph Lauren. Let's get to my messy, my God, my messy room. Just put you here. So I went with my sister and my friend. They were looking for something, I forgot what. And uh, I think my sister was looking for, uh, ah yeah. So she realized that all of her uh, uh, sweaters were a V-neck. And recently, because it's getting cold, um, she has to wear a scarf. And so she decided that she needed something that is that is more closed. I went with her. I have been on the hunt for a cable knit sweater for a long time. And I have looked in many, many places and tried quite a few, but I just wasn't very happy with the, either. Either it would be too expensive or when it's not expensive, it's not the feel that I want. So when I was in our floor and I was looking actually at the classic ones and I, I, the one I loved the most ended up being one in the menswear section. It, it had that mild green effect, the softest cashmere I've ever t touched. But then I looked at it and it was in their purple label, which is 
a sort of I think the they have different grades in their collection and the purple label is very expensive it was 770 pounds for a sweater so I didn't take it and so I left the men's section and went downstairs to the women's section and I was going to take uh, uh, the women version of that sweater which is uh, something around three three hundred thirty pounds for women it's not yeah that was for my neighbor but I opened anyway um, so when I tried the the women's version I just didn't like it it didn't feel as luxurious as the men's version but I couldn't afford the men's one and then I saw this now I usually only wear cashmere because I am allergic to lamb's wool so if I were to wear lamb's wool I'd probably break out in hives it's just uh, one of those things I've had since I was a child bizarrely this thing is actually wool it's wool and 90% wool and 10% cashmere but when I tried it it did not break me out I don't know why is it maybe the yarn that they use or whatever it's a cable knit it has an interesting detail in here with the buttons and this is not a this is not a, a like a, a roll thing it's like more of a turtleneckish kind of thing but not too high that it gets uh, solid with makeup uh, though I'm, I'm trying to not wear any makeup anyway around my, my face but I just I remember wearing it in the store and it just looked perfect and felt nice um, so I'm going to wear this quite a lot like what I said uh, in a previous video my my wardrobe my skincare my makeup everything has stabilized in such a way that whenever I buy a piece it takes me forever to buy it but when I buy it I just wear it a lot and so uh, this cable knit has been in my in my um, uh, on my radar for a good a good uh, year and a half I've been looking almost every week and after almost 18 months I finally got one I'm, I'm a very slow uh, buyer hold on that was the DPD guy it's the same guy who comes to my area and every time he comes he has a problem with, with his deliveries so apparently there is a neighbor who did not put her address right and was like ah oh, yeah my thing, maybe but anyway so I was saying I really really love this and I've been waiting to get it for so long that I'm going to do a styling video just on that because as I said I tend to wear things a lot when I get them so I'll show you maybe five or six different ways of styling this because I could wear it every day of the week and it would still work. Um, this one well, is a size small and it's 165 pounds so it's still quite 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 expensive but when you see how many times I wear it the cost per wear is going to be very low because I like I said I wear my things a lot so that's the newest addition to my stuff what else did i get nothing here didn't get much in makeup um this is my Cezanne shirt that you guys know i really really love unfortunately it's getting old and stained i still wear it i decided to continue wearing it when i'm working from home because you can't see much of the thing in etc on camera but i will give it maybe another year and then i will have to get rid of it and these are the the jeans that I had gotten from Hollister remember I had shown you these a few videos ago and you probably have noticed in my videos that I wear them all the time so now I have these three pairs of jeans I wear them every single day very very happy with the purchase um, I wear them weekend work week whatever uh, so yeah I'm so tired God. <sighs> I'm gonna make myself a cup of tea and I have a presentation deck to get out today. And then I'm going to check up on my team again. Though it's been an hour since I talked to them, but you never know. <laughs> 